Dad bought me an RC car. My dad couldn't believe that I could control this thing. So he bought me, bought me one just like it. And we started racing and I was beating people of, of our age and, uh, and older at five years old. And my dad thought that I had really good hand-to-eye coordination, so someone spoke to him about a go-kart. Dad bringing me a go-kart for Christmas. And then, you know, he said, if you work hard at school, I'll keep you in racing. Takes a wide line in and a nice tight one on the way out. It's number nine, Chris Rogers. They're all over the place, but it's going to be Lewis. Lewis Hamilton goes round the outside of them. Just a few bends if he can hold on to it. Lewis is absolutely superb. He picked his moment brilliantly in this race. But Lewis Hamilton takes the flag and the applause of the crowd here, brilliantly judged. Lewis Hamilton it is then that takes the Highland Spring Formula Cadet Class win at round one Buckmore Park. And what a win it was. Yes. Just forget that last race on a Sunday afternoon. Got it right. Excellent feeling. When I met Ron Dennis, I asked for his autograph in my autograph book. I asked for him to put his address down and uh, he writ in the autograph book, um, phone me in nine years, we'll sort something out then. He is still quite young, um, but he is very focused and very confident. It's the right place to start. In the past years I've, I've had um, racist names being called to me. The first time it happened, I felt really upset. I told, told my mum and dad and I felt like I needed to get revenge on him. But, Lately, um, if anybody had said anything to me, I would just ignore them and get them back on the track. Oh, Hamilton goes through from Stevenage. Young Lewis Hamilton flies through, just 13 years old, but Cheetah takes it straight back to the Scarborough man. Oh, but he was too fast into the left-hander, and he has let Hamilton away now. The fact is that, you know, we're here to race, and so, you know, we go out on the track and we do our best. Hamilton will be conscious of that as Hamilton goes diving down the inside. Prima trying to make himself wide. You can't go wide enough for Lewis Hamilton there, but Prima fights back as well he might. Well done to him for the moment, but Lewis Hamilton still there and through again. Oh, it all looks so easy when Lewis Hamilton's on a charge. Imagine being in the Formula 1 car. Must be very powerful, right? He takes the checkered flag here at Hockenheim to win the opening round of the Formula 3 Euro Series. Oh, look at this. for the lead, Andrew, oh. side by side. Fantastic, Lewis Hamilton round the outside, you're that not, was very You're great. not supposed to be able to do that <laughs> through there. You're just not supposed to do that. Very brave move. This car, pedal keeping a tight line, pulls out to the outside, tries to get the swoop in, doesn't carry enough speed, tucks back inside again. But then, of course, the circuit goes right. There's not enough space there. But now they're side by side. Get again. Switches back to the other side. Vettel's got the line for oh. the Hamilton dodges on the inside. That was a good move. He's just about managed to get level with Vettel. He'll That's have the one. inside line for the next corner as well. This surely is Lewis Hamilton's second place. Although Sebastian Vettel tries to rave it out, Hamilton goes through. He's had to work very, very hard for that. But Vettel hasn't finished yet, Andrew. Has a look on the inside there. He can't do it. And Lewis Hamilton finally secures second place. Victory for the sixth time in eight races is Lewis Hamilton's. Accelerating up towards the line. Victory in the two rounds at Monaco go to Lewis Hamilton in the Formula 3 Euro Series. And Lewis Hamilton makes it a magnificent seven. Seven wins for him in the championship this year. Across the line, Lewis Hamilton wins. This is the perfect uh, victory. Fastest lap, he's got the fastest lap. Pole position wins the race, start to finish. But there, the checkered flag. Win number eight for Lewis Hamilton. Checker flag is going to be at the ready, and Lewis Hamilton wins for the ninth time this season. Checker flag at the ready, out of the last corner, Hamilton is the winner for a tenth time this year. Across the line now, Lewis Hamilton wins here at Zandvoort, and the team is absolutely delighted. Checker flag for Lewis Hamilton for the twelfth time this year, he wins in the F3 Euro Series. Yes, Lewis Hamilton comes to the line, he's already the champion. And he increases his lead at the top of the table. Just two more races to go. And uh, Lewis Hamilton uh, completes the season with a win, a double win, in fact, at Hockenheim here and Salaquada. And this is how uh, Lewis Hamilton uh, celebrated with these uh, 
excellently executed uh, down actually got both hands off the wheel now he's got the car so uh, beautifully balanced let's see it uh, once more ballet in a formula three car you can almost smell that kumo rubber line up there is the victory podium shots there for uh, dad which i'm sure he'll look at when he gets home Hamilton is coming out of the final corner to win at the Nürburgring. The feature race goes, well, capitulates utterly to Adrian yeah. Hamilton. Utter, utter crushing of all opposition. Hamilton is so close now that if he doesn't move, he's going to run into the back of Adam Carroll. Adam's taking the inside line and a monster lockup. Lewis gets on the brakes calmly, takes the inside line. There you go. Yeah. 143.1, same as the leaders, I think. 143.2, 143.5, well, 43.0. Lapierre managed. didn't even make a move to defend that. Now he's close. Got Hamilton a good just passed him, just like this. There we go. Pulled up, caught Stop him, done. passed him, and just demolished his teammate like everyone else. Lewis Hamilton will go on to score not only his first, but his second GP2 race here at the Nürburgring. A fantastic race weekend from the English driver. A really, really impressive showing from the 20-year-old. He takes his hand out of the cockpit, but that's win number four in GP2 for Lewis Carl Hamilton as he increases his lead in the championship, and the fist says it all. Down through the front straight, the famous Silverstone circuit, and it's got a new name, a new British name added to it in GP2 parlance, and that is Lewis Hamilton, who wins at Silverstone in style, I may add. And Hamilton about to make up another place, he is indeed. Much like Pantano, I think, isn't it? Right oh, oh they touch. yes, on the grass at Abbey, no, just hold on to it. Here comes Adam Carroll down into bridge. What a great opening lap this is. Just saying before the race started, Gareth at uh, Formula 3000 had produced some good racing and some good aggression here at Silverstone. And still there, and here comes Hamilton, three wide into Magus. Is going to work? Yes, it oh. is. And Hamilton wins, Take and Piquet's on the grass, and through the barriers he goes. Oh. A really fine line between the perfect exact on line and, and being pretty. And oh, it's a bridge for the lead. Oh. Around the outside of Priory, he cuts back inside of Brooklyn. He's got to have a lunge because Piccioni's yeah. there. He is inside. Oh, and that was close as well. Good defence by Porchero because he managed to shut the door on Piccioni, but there it is. Win at Silverstone, as he said, Carol Threes at the home of the British Grand Prix, supporting the British Grand Prix. A very major moment for the Hamilton family. They both know that it is really up against the head. Any mistake here uh, in this race weekend could just throw away the championship title. Oh, oh Hamilton! Hamilton. Fun. Still got an engine. Just yes. gets away from it. Just, just hits the curb. Maybe just slightly too hard. Just gets away from it. Hamilton making a move down the inside of Ajahn Valle, as it is, in fact. With Lewis Hamilton now, uh, thinking this is live. Oh, is that Pantano? That's a play, yeah, it's a good move, actually. And here is Hamilton. Didn't get the job done entirely, did he? Oh, goodness me. Monfadini. And Hamilton behind Frank Pereira. And, uh, yes, around the outside of these two. Hard on the power, nice and early. Here so this go. is Yoshimoto and Pereira. Oh. Pereira giving him no, a big naughty. squeeze. That's naughty. Well, yeah. he, there's still lots of room. He was just defending, wasn't he? I mean, it's not like he had a big shot. He's come back and done him. He's going to do it again. He is. Oh. Well, do you know what? I mean, he's giving him just enough room to keep a car in. Yeah, yeah enough done. to he's survive. Good. Good so, Hernandez Prema in the eighth place and seventh place, respectively, as Hamilton picks up another position. Here he comes inside Lopez. He's just so late on the brakes, isn't he? For, uh, for third place in the championship yep. with Premar, isn't he? So he needs every point he can as well. Well, plus, you know, a position on the podium, plus... Hamilton for seventh. Yeah, he just loves to race. One more place then and he'll be in the points. Oh, no. and here comes Hamilton. Stick them up here to sixth. He's in the points. Well, that's some um, great progress. Right in front of him, you saw Lucas de Grassi. 37.3 for Hamilton. The next fastest lap that lap was 38.5.
And that is Degrassi done and dusted. So Hamilton up to fifth, PK currently fourth. Here we go. Well, here we go, yeah, just so, looking in. Oh, oh so that's yes. great stuff. Good move. Oh, that's going to beat Sites. Right. Wow, he's done him. Balls of steel, this boy. In fact, both. Uh, again, you know, a big, big Great pressure stuff. move Great from Glock. You can just imagine what the Formula One press room is like, can't you? Every single man <laughs> stood on his feet going, Are you seeing this? Glock's come back at him again. Yes, and Pico's right in there as well, contact. and that's contact. Yeah, Pico's done him. Oh. Exactly, that's what Pico should have been. Just in case there was contact, pick up the pieces. Now Lewis has got to do it all again. Yeah, Pico's got asleep. to cover this time. He's around the outside. It's the S's oh. of Snetterton. He's going to do PK on the outside and cut right hander. Yes. Now it's and he's pushing Zuba. Did you see Zuba's tyre spin up as he got under the Glock, gearbox? Glock. Yeah. Uh, Glock run. I'm sorry. Yes. Here comes Hamilton again with a great toe on Glock. Look at the speed he's carrying oh. in the Glock. Around the outside. No, Glock's having none of it. Well, Glock was glued to the inside yeah, line there, yeah. all the way up the hill and down the other side. He knew exactly what was going on. Oh, he's left a big gap there. Glock ran wide to try and make sure he got a good run of the pit straight. Oh, he's, aiming. Him, he's aiming at the apex now. <laughs> 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 from from yeah. quarter of a mile away, he's aiming for the apex of the first turn. Is he close enough? Through this fast right-hander over the hill into the braking area at the other side. I think he might be. Here he comes. Here he comes. What's Adam Carroll got under braking? Not enough, no. though. Well, you saw Adam move onto the racing line. He, yeah. knew the, he knew the game was up. Andreas Zuber from second on the grid claims a momentous first GP2 win for himself. A great result, but what a race. That is the performance of the championship from Lewis Hamilton. What a stunning, stunning race. All right, drop the ball prodigiously with a big spin on lap two that yes. put him way down the order to, I don't know, the mid-teens, but... He's pumped up there, isn't he? Pumped oh, my too. goodness. On the other hand, of course, the manly are Lewis Hamilton, the champion. Actually, 2006 Drivers' Champion Lewis Hamilton and the championship-winning team, ART Grand Prix. As a Formula 1 driver, it's so different to what I've, I'm used to. Before, I was, I was just a driver, but now, being a Vodafone McLaren Mercedes driver, it seems to change absolutely everything. It's just an unreal feeling. Um, it's my dream come true, basically. We've worked very hard. It's been a long, long journey um, with my results in GP2 and in Formula 3 the previous year. Hamilton has crossed the line, there he is, a wonderful podium for the new rising star of British motorsport. But here is the man they're all talking about, tomorrow's newspapers I think will be full of this guy's face. And it's a face we're going to have to get used to over the next few years because he is the new star of Formula One. Podium for his first Grand Prix, brilliant. An amazing achievement, Lewis Hamilton picks up the trophy in his boyhood dreams in the bedroom when he was a kart racer he would have dreamt of spraying the champagne one day on a formula one podium it's going to come down to some bravery here hamilton tucks him behind raikkonen is he going to be brave here yes he is he takes one ferrari alonso takes the lead hamilton's looking at massa now he's going around the outside of him the rookie the 22 year old from stevenage is having a go and he's passed him hamilton up to second place and lewis hamilton comes through in second place what a fabulous performance by him raikkonen is third what a day what a race the two teammates they worked together early on hamilton let alonso go he got in front of the two ferraris and allowed alonso to build a, a, a large winning margin and there is ron dennis it's worked absolutely perfectly for the team third place in australia second place in malaysia does that mean a win at the next race in bahrain next weekend too much to expect surely Felipe Massa wins the Bahrain Grand Prix, his first victory this season, the third of his career, but what a heroic drive in second place by Britain's Lewis Hamilton. And he looks like he was born to it, doesn't he?
Right side, Hamilton and Raikkonen. Who's going to get the drop? Look at Alonso. He almost tagged Massa there. He goes wide. Has he got him? Massa keeps his body. They touch. They run wide. Here's a chance for Hamilton. He gets in front of Alonso. And here comes Lewis Hamilton. He is going to come through for second place. His third in a row. And most important of all, he leads the Formula One World Championship after just four races of his career. Here is your new World Championship leader, Lewis Hamilton. What an extraordinary story. Thanks the car. Thanks the crowd. Another one for the trophy cabinet. He's already got four. So it's first year. Anthony Hamilton, his father. Nicholas there, his brother. Absolutely loving this. Princess Caroline gives him the trophy. He manages a smile. Well, he should. Another second place to add to this extraordinary debut season. And does he take, yes he does, a 15-7, that's a great lap. But Alonso is also on a fast lap. I wonder if they'll tell him he needs to pull something special out of the back. And he goes second. Lewis Hamilton, I believe, has his first pole position in Formula One. He was absolutely on the limit, but no mistakes. Well done, that's Pete Lamp. You done it. Well done, mate. Alonso goes to the outside as he made it. He's run wide. He's cut the corner. If he takes the advantage, which he can't, he's done what he did in Spain. He's gone for broke, and it's cost him. Alonso loses out. Well, he's rewriting the book of what is possible in Formula One. If he can do this after six races, what might he achieve in the future? Lewis Hamilton wins! Surely the first of many for Lewis Hamilton. Kickers, well done! OK, well done, Lewis. Uh, excellent job, mate. There was never really any doubt in the mind of anybody in Formula One that we'd be witnessing this moment sooner rather than later. But how soon it has come has astonished everybody. No one has ever started in Formula One like this guy has. There have been so many over the years in karting, in Formula Three, in GP2. But that's the first Grand Prix winner's trophy. It's a wonderful club that he has just joined. And a pretty exclusive one at that. Alonso goes through on a 1.12.5, but Hamilton should be quicker. With three and a half minutes of the session to go, there is Lewis Hamilton, inches from the wall through turn 13. He goes fastest, a 1.12.385. He is just over a tenth of a second quicker, and uh, there is time for another run. Can he improve? He does. He goes even faster, a 1.12.331 gives Lewis Hamilton his second consecutive pole position in Formula One. We know about his race performance. That is a wonderful job by Lewis Hamilton. Great bite by Alonso. He's got a terrific start. So has Hamilton. He's got a slight edge on him, though. Alonso tucks in behind to protect the Ferrari from the Ferraris. Is Alonso going to try another one of his famous runs around the outside? No, he is not. This could be the lead going for Hamilton. Alonso senses an opportunity. They are side by side down the pit straight in Indianapolis. The two teammates, you could put a cigarette paper between the wheels. Hamilton holds his nerve, but Alonso is on the warpath. Absolutely stunning drive, a steely drive. Lewis Hamilton wins! The first British driver to win in America for 24 years. <laughs> yes, guys! Once again, you did a fantastic job, as always. And we brought it home. Fantastic, guys. I love you all. British driver, British constructor, just one national anthem then, of course. What a collection of those, he's got seven races in, seven trophies. Eighth podium in a row for Lewis Hamilton. Goes fastest, what an amazing lap from Kimi Raikkonen, despite running wide. And now, what about Hamilton? Board now with the British number one, trying to become the first Brit on pole for 11 years. Slightly awkward there through the Finley corner. Has that car lost him some time? The pedal is flat to the floor. Hamilton goes for glory. Is it pole? Yes! yes! He's done it! Lewis Hamilton sticks it on pole. Listen to the crowd.
He's the man. What an incredible effort he did. The most sensational middle part of the lap. He has pulled that out of the back. He made the difference. It's not gone well this afternoon. We'll wait and find out if he had a specific problem. Hamilton then through Woodcote Corner. He'll still be on the podium. Tremendous reception for him as he crosses the line. Lewis Hamilton, big disappointment for him, but nevertheless, nine podiums in a row for him. his first he goes quickest to 120.1 but what can Hamilton do and he goes he's very clean exit beautifully looks like he's got it well under control should be pole position well he goes fastest at the moment at 119.7 there's Lewis Hamilton queuing up behind him and they've have they raised the lollipop to let uh, Alonso out yep they want him out of there now Alonso's not getting on with it only a minute 40 to go he's is he blocking Hamilton here is that a bit of a tactic within the team now to give Hamilton a bit of a headache? And Hamilton's missed it. Hamilton's missed it by four seconds. So he is not going to get a lap in. He goes through on a 19.6. But there are going to be some serious words in the McLaren garage. And when Alonso put him, uh, blocked him from doing that final qualifying lap. But he said, I'll rise above it. And rise above it, he most certainly has done. Lewis Hamilton takes his third. In Formula One, he wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. Raikkonen's fastest lap of the race comes on the final lap, but it doesn't matter because it's all about Lewis Hamilton. Uh, I'll admit, but uh, it is a nice trophy. You have to admit that's uh, quite unique. I suppose typically Hungarian. He has made no mistakes. It has been one of the most difficult and treacherous Grand Prix in the history of Formula One racing, and with a single mighty blow. He holds Alonso's charge. His world championship is now within reach. That was the drive of a champion. Lewis Hamilton wins the Japanese Grand Prix. This is the man of the day, no question about it. He's got to come in. He's got, I think he's got a, a I think he's got some delamination on that right rear tire. Surely the team have seen that. Comes Lewis Hamilton, he goes straight on into the gravel jump. Can he keep the wheel spinning? Can he get some momentum going? The chance to be leave here as the world champion seems to have gone away. He was struggling like mad on those tyres out there. So now, now he's got a damaged right front tyre. Hamilton with a right front puncture that's going to rip the wing to bits. The front wing end plate's completely destroyed. They can't actually get the front wing under. They've had to put a jack in the middle. But no, he's slowing. Impossible. Somehow the system resets itself and he manages to get going again. Okay, it's all over. It's all over. Hamilton seventh. Hamilton seventh. By my calculations, we win the championship by one point. And Lewis Hamilton is going to have to come back here next year and do it all over again. Always look forward. Never look back. Always look forward and uh, focus on making the car better, to make myself better as a driver. And uh, I think we, we're going to have a good year, I hope. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes MP4 23 in the 2008 driver lineup. Lewis Hamilton, Hickey Kaimalara. It's a cool thing to come here. I'm 23 today, the, the new MP4 23, and we have the number 23. Coming through, and the chequered flag, and uh, well, Lewis Hamilton's driven absolutely beautifully. He takes his fifth career victory, the first for McLaren here since 2003. None of his main rivals have scored a point here this afternoon. And what a satisfying start to the season for Lewis Hamilton. Welcome for the politicians here in Australia. The Honourable John Brumby presenting the trophy, the magnificent trophy, a replica of uh, Jack Brabham's steering wheel. He felt he'd let them down. 
He drove his heart out today. The car is not quick enough. Yeah, he'll be thoroughly satisfied with that. Slight hesitation from the Ferrari on the right of Kimi Raikkonen. Hamilton has taken advantage and has steamed up the inside, and that is uh, a great move indeed for Lewis Hamilton jumping past it. Hi Raikkonen. Oh, Lewis has hit the barriers. Sorry to interrupt you, Martin, but Lewis Hamilton and right rear he looked puncture. out of shape and he's got a right rear puncture coming through the tobacco corner. And Lewis Hamilton is going to lose a lot of ground because of this. It's all about keeping it out of the barriers and not making any mistakes. Lewis Hamilton, he said on Wednesday when he arrived here that it would be a dream to win in Monte Carlo. And the boyhood dream comes true for Lewis Hamilton. He pulls over to his team on the pit wall and Lewis Hamilton wins the Monaco Grand Prix. He walks in the shadow of Ayrton Senna 15 years after the Brazilian maestro last won this race. It's Lewis's sixth career victory, his second of the season, and it gives him the lead in the world championship. And it's pure emotion for Lewis Hamilton. Look at that face. It tells you everything you need to know about how much this means to Lewis Hamilton. He's in GP2. He's been up there to collect trophies in F3. But nothing matches the feeling of shaking hands with Prince Albert and taking the trophy as winner of the Monaco Grand Prix. past Piquet, and now Hamilton has gone past Kovalainen in an equally memorable pass, up the inside into Snow, and now will he drive away or will, will Kovalainen come back at him? He came here to Silverstone, and he has shown them all with one of the great, great drives at Silverstone. Lewis Hamilton wins the British Grand Prix, a fantastic performance, a mesmerising drive. At times he was five or six seconds a lap quicker than men on the same tyres. Fantastic performance. Secretary of State for Wales. It's always a beautiful trophy, the Silverstone one. Gold. And he will come through now to take his fourth victory of this season. A wonderful victory for Lewis Hamilton. And McLaren's first here at Hockenheim for 10 years. Ending up in victory. And that uh, joins the Silverstone Cup, the Australian Cup, and the Monaco Cup this year in this trophy collection. And Hamilton's going to attack him. He goes on the inside. Shot. Meanwhile, Massa has lost ground in oh. these conditions. Well, Hamilton's up. Raikkonen gets back past him again. There's a Williams in the mix too. Hamilton's on the grass. So Raikkonen back and in. And Hamilton spins. Raikkonen, Raikkonen, Raikkonen spins. spins. These painted white lines oh. are lethal. Hamilton's having such problem just keeping the car going. He wins the Belgian Grand Prix at Spa-Francorchamps to add a crucial title to his belt. He's won at Monaco, he's won at Silverstone, and he's won at Spa this year. Closer to Ferrari as well, doesn't it? And the constructors with Raikkonen not scoring. Kovalainen didn't score either. He broke down or something happened on the last lap. Lewis Hamilton wins the Chinese Grand Prix, his fifth victory of 2008. And Hamilton gets another pop, the ninth of his Formula One career, not even yet completing his second season in the sport. He's behind Vettel, he's behind Alonso as well, he's and, lost. And Fisichella, I believe he's behind Fisichella, who was the first man to pit on, to put the dry tyres on. Disaster at the moment. Now Hamilton needs it to rain hard. He certainly does. This is amazing. The final stages of this World Championship. Just five laps to go. And uh, nerves are jangling. David Ryan there, the veteran team manager of McLaren. He's seen a few championship fights, but this is pure drama at Interlagos. Hamilton lets him through. 
So uh, he's got Cripp and Hamilton's lost it. Oh my goodness me, Vettel's taken the place and that could cost Hamilton the World Championship. The question now is can Timo Glock, him a Toyota, keep it on the island? If he cannot, then Hamilton might have a chance of getting the title back. At the moment, sixth will not do it for him. He needs fifth or better. He comes through to claim his sixth victory of the season. He has done everything he needed to do and we wait now to find out who will be the world champion of 2008. Can Hamilton do anything? And that's, is that Glock? Is that Glock going slowly? It is, it's Glock. Glock. Oh my goodness me, Hamilton's back in position again. 2008 Formula One world champion, Lewis Hamilton, and you will well, the, the Ferrari boys are celebrating. They, they both they, they both think they won it, but Ferrari are wrong. Are wrong. They're absolutely no, they're wrong. wrong. Hamilton's finished wrong. fifth, and Lewis, the father, has just realised that he celebrated a little bit too early. Guys, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. That was so freaking close. Nelson Mandela once, when he was 90, for his 90th birthday, and he said to me that he was still learning at that time, so I have a long way to go. Spotted now where uh, Hamilton's got the extra speed. Look at that. Slipstream curves, and that's what we were hoping to see. Rosberg's car won't, and he has no ability to slow the car down or accelerate it. Is it going to be Weber? Yes, it is. A banging move there, but Kimmy Wright going to come in charging through. Alonso's there. Hamilton's got the inside track. Vettel is there in fifth place behind Weber and also behind Raikkonen. This is Lewis Hamilton against Mark Webber. He's absolutely going no wheel to wheel as they go through turn two. And has Hamilton got three ads? Or was Webber coming back? No, Hamilton's round. He's got the inside line there, Mark Webber. It, it seems on the outside. Lewis Hamilton's done it. Lewis Hamilton, he's a winner again. The first time in 2009. Oh, Three good, guys. Fantastic. Now, is this going to be fast? Oh yes, three tenths faster than anyone else. It's Lewis Hamilton on pole then. He started on pole and he's taken the checkered flag. Lewis Hamilton wins for McLaren in Singapore. And is he happy or is he happy? I think McLaren said at one stage, you can't maybe see us winning at all this season. Look at the slipstream Hamilton's got on Barrichello now. Barrichello goes to move inside and that's for third place. And Hamilton is through. Button's going through on the inside. It's going to be very, very careful. But um, Hamilton, he's got the line. He's got the line in the last corner. Hamilton's coming back in, but Button's still there and he's got the lead. Hamilton's got the inside line and retakes. It's the first time win for Lewis Hamilton in 2010. Fantastic, Lewis. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved win. Formula One's back in North America, and Lewis Hamilton wins again in Canada. Woohoo! Yeah! Lewis Hamilton has won at Spa. It's his first victory here at this famous circuit. So this is what a great start looks like. Feeds left, pulls it right, and look how close that was. That was really on the limit. The beautiful driving from Lewis. The slipstream down the pit straight. And Hamilton fancies to look up the inside into turn one. And Button had to give him some space. Hamilton then a beautiful move on Jensen Button. It's second place then for Lewis Hamilton. And he's looking up the inside, he's through. Hamilton takes the lead. Absolutely brilliant on lap 52. Lewis Hamilton brilliantly wins the Chinese Grand Prix. That was amazing, thank you so much. He turns into the slide, runs out of road and has broken the rear suspension. Tires coming off. It's really quite bad. The broad and a grosjean. Hamilton. Hamilton's gone off as well. Okay, Lewis, I'm sorry, we cannot continue racing. We cannot continue racing. Box this lap.
won twice in Canada before. The hat trick is now Lewis Hamilton's. It's seven out of seven different winners in 2012. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton for the 19th time in Formula One. A hat trick of wins in Budapest. There's the champagne sprayed by Lewis Hamilton. be tough because this it is my family I grew up with them and um, I'm gonna be going elsewhere. McLaren will always be my home. It will always be my home. Mercedes is obviously going to a team that's struggled for the last couple of years. They've not won as many champ championships, they've not been competitive in this era of, of car design. This era of car design came out in 2009 and obviously you have the top three teams that have been there and now Lotus have also come in and started competing and Mercedes finished fifth in the championship last year so it's taking a team that's struggled and helping them to climb up the ladder and get higher up so I want to be a part of that, I want to get in there and I want to help develop the car, push it in a certain direction I feel that I'm good at. Uh, you guys have had a couple of tough years and um, I'm just here to, to work alongside all of you to try and see if we can turn some of those results and some, some serious results. It's coming round the final turn. It's a fourth win in Hungary. It's a first win for Mercedes. Hamilton wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. Get in there, Lewis. Get in there. That's P1, man. Here in Hungary, three times a winner for McLaren and now a winner in Budapest for Mercedes. Awesome race, Lewis. Awesome race. Down towards turn four. Tries to make a move around the outside. Hamilton's got his covered. He's going to have to go the long way round. Forced off the track by his teammate Nico Rosberg. Here comes Nico Rosberg into turn one for the lead this. Rosberg against Hamilton. Hamilton fights back. Rosberg has to concede the lead. Hamilton, Rosberg part two. And he's going to try up the inside again. Rosberg, he's got DRS. And this time, Lewis Hamilton locks up as well as Nico Rosberg. Now, does that give Rosberg the chance to keep hold of the lead? Looks to me like it does. Towards the outside of the track, Hamilton is pushed. Rosberg makes his move around that right-hander. Hamilton now trying to fight back down the hill. This is where Rosberg went off on the first lap. This is where Hamilton... Hamilton on lap 19 regains the lead back again. Whoa! Rosberg in second, gaining all the time. A little bit too far back, but he's going to go for it down the he inside. It, has he outbreaked himself? Yes, he has. Lewis Hamilton comes back into the lead once more. Yeah, didn't think he would make the braking zone there. That was uh, incredibly late. in there Lewis, excellent drive there, absolutely epic. But Hamilton wasn't going to be beaten to his fourth successive win. Okay Lewis, three tenths after sector one, it's hammer time. Touches Lewis, home Grand Prix win. England! <laughs> what a great feeling, guys. I couldn't be happier. 
27 Grand Prix victories, equaling Jackie Stewart. There's only one other Englishman in front of you, Nigel Mansell, who's got more wins. Hamilton readying himself for another go as they now go towards that first chicane. He's going to try around the outside. This will give him the inside line into the second part of the chicane. Hamilton takes second place. Message to slow down. Rosberg's gone deep again. That's the second time in this race that Rosberg's gone deep, but he did it before. He was about five seconds clear. This time it's cost him the lead of the race. Hamilton wins the Italian Grand Prix. Hamilton won by over 13 seconds to reignite the championship battle. Leading the race and enjoying it. And then you hear one of your colleagues getting seriously injured. I mean, we, we know what that And um, yeah, so I, I, I was going to say, look, perfect, and I hope he's okay. It has been Hamilton who has led this race from start to finish. It's a first win at the Russian Grand Prix. Successful British racing driver. Lewis Hamilton comes around the final corner. It's not Rosberg, it's Lewis Hamilton, champion of the world in 2014. 2014 world champion. Chinese Grand Prix victory once again here in Bahrain. Canadian Grand Prix but to the British Grand Prix. I'm so happy with that. Thank you to all the fans that come in. That one was for you. Have a time lap time, so we just need some good lap times now. Win the Italian Grand Prix. Fantastic job, guys. Absolutely flawless all weekend, you guys. Great job, mate. Great, fantastic range drive. It's going to be two Mercedes going wheel to wheel into the first turn. And Hamilton looks to force his teammate wide again. Hamilton, the race winner here in Austin. It's the US Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton. It's a 1-2 for Mercedes. It's a 1-2-3. Hamilton, Rosberg and Vettel. It is the championship in 2015 for Lewis Hamilton. Three times world champion, Lewis. Man, gonna done it, mate. Three times world champion. That's the greatest moment of my life. That's a very, very unique story that when we were 14 years old, uh, we were both racing for the same go-kart team for Mercedes-Benz McLaren at the time, and we we're best friends. Uh, imagine if in 15 years time, we we're gonna be in the best Formula One team together, racing against each other for the championships. And then 15 years later, it happened. As long as one doesn't accept to be second and the other guy first, or you know, accept that one is better and the other is worse, you can't really be friends. If you're within the same team, it's such a complicated situation. 2016, Nico Rosberg wins the Australian Grand Prix. And it's Nico Rosberg ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Then comes Valtteri Bottas. He touches, he touches the Mercedes. Hamilton has damage to his bodywork. Bits of carbon fiber going everywhere for the second race in a row. It's been a brilliant night in Bahrain. Rosberg wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. What issue with my power unit? See a bit of debris coming out in the Nikola oh. Void. Then NASA getting out of the way of Raikkonen cuts across and hits uh, Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. Nico Rosberg has made it three wins out of three in Formula One in 2016. It's turbocharger issues then for Lewis Hamilton. And it's his seventh race in a row that he takes the checkered flag first. It's Nico Rosberg who wins in Russia. That's round round turn three we go. And it's Nico Rosberg and Hamilton's onto the grass. And Hamilton's in a massive crash. And he's crashed into his teammate. The two Mercedes come together as Hamilton tries to pass on the inside and he can cover his hands over his eyes and he won't want to see that again. Comes the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton, Ricardo on the inside, Hamilton takes the lead, but Ricardo of course has that inside line to Sandoval, Hamilton now leads.
And it's Lewis Hamilton who wins for the first time in 2016 and wins in Monaco for the second time. Hamilton wins the Monaco Grand Prix, leads the Canadian Grand Prix. Rosberg gets pushed wide by Hamilton, and that's a really poor start for Nico Rosberg. Round to the outside, and this time around at the breaking, Nico Rosberg makes a mistake. The championship leader makes a mistake. Can he keep the engine running? He can. His teammate Lewis Hamilton comes around the final corner now to make it five Canadian Grand Prix victories as Hamilton wins in Montreal. Well, I know that session. And it's Nico Rosberg back winning again. Will to wheel with Nico Rosberg in towards turn two. His teammates got the inside oh, line. They've touched again. Hamilton runs wide. And is he going to come onto the track and touch his teammate? He's now got damage. Nico Rosberg to his front wing. Hamilton wins out. Hamilton takes the Austrian Grand Prix. The 250th Grand Prix win by a British driver. Hamilton getting a standing ovation around Silverstone. And the British fans who flocked 139,000 of them to the British Grand Prix and had to put up with some good old-fashioned British weather, but the sun has come out. It's Lewis Hamilton winning the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Awesome stuff, Lewis. Great job, man. British Grand Prix. Ricardo's waiting for Stafford on the inside, and round the outside goes Daniel Ricardo. On the inside goes Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton takes the lead ahead of Ricardo. He started second this afternoon, he survived an attack from Ricardo at the first corner. He rounds the final corner now, Lewis Hamilton, sees the chequered flag and for the fifth time takes the win at the Hungarian Grand Prix and for the first time in 2016 takes the championship lead as well. It's a great start for Fernando Alonso and also Lewis Hamilton who goes into the first corner in the lead of the two Red Bulls scrapping away. It is going to be six wins in the last seven races. Hamilton wins the German Grand Prix. Nico Rosberg, he wins in Spa for the first time. He wins for the sixth time in 2016. But Lewis Hamilton from 21st on the grid comes home to take the final podium place. It's odd, wasn't it? I mean, it didn't bog down. It didn't go into anti-storm. It didn't get away. It just didn't move. To win the Italian Grand Prix for the first time, it's Nico Rosberg who closes the gap at the championship lead to just two points. The fireworks light up the sky for Nico Rosberg as he wins in Singapore. It has all gone terribly, terribly wrong. Good start there from Nico Hockenberg and from Daniel Ricciardo. Hamilton's had a really bad start. Rosberg comes home to win the Japanese Grand Prix. It is going to be a fourth win in Texas, a fifth win in the United States. It's Lewis Hamilton's first win since Germany come to Mexico City. And he is winning the Mexico Grand Prix. The man with the Senna Tribute helmet for this weekend takes the checkered flag and wins the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's Hamilton once more for the third race in a row, taking the victory. But it's his teammate, Nico Rosberg, who continues to lead in the championship. Lewis Hamilton wins the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Nico Rosberg is second. He takes the championship 34 years after his father. It's like father, it's like son for the Rosberg. Advice that I would give, try and get as much running as you can. Take your time. It's so easy to just get ahead of yourself and, and think, and you know, oh, I'm ready for this, I'm ready to take the next step. And you just gotta take your time. That, that was really the fortunate thing I had with all of my support from my dad and from, from, the, from Ron, was just trying to make sure that we didn't rush it. Hamilton takes the checkered flag and wins the Chinese Grand Prix. Corner for Lewis Hamilton, he's got DRS. Fennel blocks him off on the inside. Hamilton goes around the outside and swoops into the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton, he's gonna go on now to take another Spanish Grand Prix victory. It's his 55th win in Formula One. He has matched Ayrton Senna's career record. It's race worn from your hero to you. 
He is aiming to match Jim Clark's tally of five poles at the British Grand Prix. And by six tenths of a second, he absolutely smashes the field. A 126.6. Unbelievable. Lewis Hamilton wants a four time winner of the British Grand Prix. It's a fifth British Grand Prix win for Hamilton at Silverstone. We've got the best fans here. Thank you, everyone who turned up. I see you out there. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. It is the halfway stage of the season and a 20-point lead in the championship for Sebastian Vettel. Lewis Hamilton in his 200th Grand Prix is going to do what Michael Schumacher did in his 200th Grand Prix and take the victory. As he reaches the line now, Hamilton, 200 Grand Prix, and he wins in Spa on this Sunday afternoon. Hamilton would love to get pole out right, though, as he crosses the line now. It's the record for Lewis Hamilton, 69 poles in Formula One. Michael Schumacher's record goes here at Monza. It's been an absolute breeze for Hamilton today. He takes the championship lead for the first time in 2017. So it's Lewis Hamilton then in his victory, number 60. Hamilton wins in Singapore. He's won in Fuji before. He has won in Suzuka before. He has seen Sebastian Vettel retire from the race. Lewis Hamilton wins the Japanese Grand Prix. He's half a second quicker on this lap, Hamilton. He's going down the inside, Hamilton. He's taking the lead of the Grand Prix as Lewis Hamilton. The lead has changed hands as Lewis Hamilton wins the US Grand Prix. Hamilton's got problems. Hamilton's got a puncture on his right rear tyre. Hamilton has been formidable. He has been the force, and he crosses the line now to become the four-time world champion. Lewis Hamilton does it in 2017. And they are two great champions. They are uh, the two main rivals, and they are the two most talented drivers in, in the grid now. No Lewis may be better than, than Sebastian. Track. Sebastian Vettel is going to come out ahead of Lewis Hamilton here. What just happened, guys? Why don't you tell me Vettel was in the pits? Sebastian Vettel, who comes home to win the Australian Grand Prix. Alonso against Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton. Magnussen ahead of Harley. Hamilton down the inside on Nico Hulkenberg. Ocon's might lose out to Fernando Alonso. Hamilton makes up places. Sebastian Vettel wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. On board with Lewis Hamilton now. He's catching up with a Ferrari as Bottas done his teammate a favour here. Oh, Sebastian oh, Vettel goes down the inside and he locks up and that's going to cost him one and two and maybe three places. Oh, and there's a puncture for Valtteri he just Bottas. Ran, he ran across some debris. He ran across debris. He takes the checker flag now to win in Baku. Lewis Hamilton on his way for a 30th consecutive points finish. The first man ever to finish in the points for 30 consecutive races. He's going to break Michael Schumacher's record as well and notch up his full 41st win from pole position as Hamilton takes the win at the Spanish Grand Prix and he will retake the championship lead. Sebastian Vettel wins the Canadian Grand Prix. Bottas much braver on the brakes. We lock up and knock him out of the race. Lewis Hamilton takes the chequered flag and wins the French Grand Prix here at Circuit Paul Ricard. Vettel's on the inside of Hamilton and the man who's second in the championship overtakes the championship leader on the track. And Lewis Hamilton, the championship leader. That's power. Stop, 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 stop. Is out of this race. Can he get on pole at Silverstone again? No, he has missed out. Lewis Hamilton gets a sixth British Grand Prix pole position. It is a record for this event. Vettel from Bottas nice Hamilton. Hamilton's gone round and he's clashed. Pulling over to the side as Hamilton now has a go at Valtteri Bottas. Red letter day instead in the destiny of the championship as Sebastian Vettel wins the British Grand Prix. Down at turn 10, Lewis Hamilton stopped the car. He's trying to get it moving again. Is that Lewis Hamilton is out of qualifying. Sebastian Vettel, he has been leading almost from start to finish. Now it's wheel to wheel with Hamilton. No team orders at Mercedes. As towards the Mercedes-Benz grandstand they go. Hamilton 
Hamilton by half a car length, now a car and a half has the lead. Lewis Hamilton regains the lead in the championship. Lewis Hamilton from 14th on the grid wins the German Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas now takes provisional pole position. But can Lewis Hamilton make his way round the final corner and take pole from his teammate? And for a sixth time in Hungary, crosses the line. Hamilton is on pole in Hungary. He has won five times in Hungary before. It's a sixth win in the Hungarian Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton. But here comes Sebastian Vettel. He's neck and neck with Lewis Hamilton. Vettel is alongside and ahead. Ocon is also ahead. They're four abreast going into the cup. Wins the Belgium Grand Prix. Side by side, look at Hamilton. Alongside Vettel. Oh, so close. He'll struggle and to get they touch. there. They touch Martin. Hamilton and Vettel has been spun round. Hamilton's closer this time around, only half a second as they cross the line. Hamilton moves out and has to go round the outside with Kimi Raikkonen. Can he take the lead of the Italian Grand Prix? Yes, he can. He is going to win once more as Hamilton takes the checkered flag and the Italian Grand Prix victory. Hamilton crosses the line a 136-0. Wow, was that fast. And Lewis Hamilton for a fourth time and a fourth record equaling time takes part here in Singapore, Lewis Hamilton, who extends his lead in the Drivers' Championship and wins the Singapore Grand Prix. And Hamilton is coming back at him and he's got a great toe. Oh, and he wanted to go down the inside, but there wasn't room. Has he got enough on the Ferrari? Underbraking to squeeze down the inside. Hamilton's done it. For the third time in his Formula One career, Lewis Hamilton sees the chequered flag and wins the Russian Grand Prix. Hamilton makes an incredible start from third. Hamilton might be going for it with Kimi Raikkonen into turn one. He is going for it, you know. That's very, very close indeed. But they managed not to come into contact. The man from Stevenage has done it once again as he rounds the final corner. It's high fives for Lewis Hamilton, a five-time champion of the world. Beautiful moment here between two great champions. Lewis Hamilton is going to cross the line and win the Brazilian Grand Prix. His 50th win in 99 races in the Turbo Hybrid era. It's a fantastic achievement. Car number 44 has really been the number one once again. He comes home to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and to crown a championship winning season with victory in the final race. Yes, get it there, Lewis. What a way to see out 2018. DRS wide open this time, it's only Hamilton, Vettel wonders where he's going, Hamilton goes round the long way, round the outside once again, he's off the track oh, once again and Sebastian Vettel's lost it! Down towards the final corner, takes the lead, Lewis Hamilton wins the Bahrain Grand Prix! Away we go, Bottas ahead of Hamilton who got away well, Hamilton scoots past Bottas on the inside! Lewis Hamilton on his way to a sixth Chinese Grand Prix victory, it's pretty much six of the best for Lewis Hamilton. Go and Hamilton gets a very good start. Hamilton and Bottas wheel to wheel. And now Fettel joining in on the action as well. Into turn one we go. Fettel locks up. Goes wide. Hamilton into the lead. And it's going to be Lewis Hamilton. It's going to see the checkered flag first and claim a hat trick of Spanish Grand Prix wins. Verstappen down the inside on Lewis Hamilton, they make contact. Hamilton wins the Monaco Grand Prix. That's what that was a victory worth, Nicky. Oh, he's oh, gone wide. Sebastian Vettel goes wide, and Lewis Hamilton thought there was a gap. Sebastian Vettel takes the checkered flag, but Lewis Hamilton wins the Canadian Grand Prix. That is not the way naturally I wanted to win. Lewis Hamilton wins the French Grand Prix from pole position, and he's led every single lap. Hamilton is that much closer to Valtteri Bottas, but this time they're going to have a will to will through Brooklyn, and somehow Bottas is staying ahead, but he's gone a bit too deep. And Hamilton, they're ready to celebrate. Now they can start. It's going to come back at him through Cops. Bottas retakes the lead. Lewis Hamilton, one, two, three, four, five, six British Grand Prix wins. He does it. Fastest lap as well on the last lap. All the crowd, thank you so much for all coming out. I appreciate you all and to the team.
thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of this. Leader and second place, almost wheel to wheel through that corner. Hamilton is trying absolutely everything. Verstappen is defending for his life. Hamilton goes round the outside in turn four. Pulls out to the right hand side and makes his way round the uh, long way and into the lead. Lewis Hamilton, he wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton wins the Russia Grand Prix. Hamilton really got squeezed here, Martin, by uh, Sebastian Vettel. Yeah. Hamilton comes home to win the Mexico Grand Prix. And Lewis Hamilton onto the top step of the podium got away nicely they did keep it clean Leclerc was the man struggling off the line and Hamilton has passed him and has made his way up into fourth place to win the US Grand Prix but behind him adding another championship to his collection he's got six appeal in Austin it's Lewis Hamilton champion of the world get in there Lewis what a drive mate that is it champion of the world did it in style, mate. You did that in style. Sebastian Vettel in there as well. That's nice a touch. lovely touch. Still we rise, guys. Still we rise. Lewis Hamilton has led every single lap of this race. Had pole, has the fastest lap as well. It is Lewis Hamilton winning in Abu Dhabi to cap a championship winning season. I'm working on a masterpiece and I haven't quite finished it yet. Records are there to be beaten and I'm quite relaxed that uh, one day it will happen, uh, whether it's Lewis, whether it's Massa or it's uh, Sebastian Vettel or whoever. Can he go any faster? He's had two poles at the Red Bull ring before. Make that three now. 2020 Styrian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton on pole position. Lewis Hamilton, he comes round the final corner to win the Styrian Grand Prix. This will lift Lewis Hamilton, I'm sure, to the top of the Drivers' Championship. No one's ever won three races in a row at the Hungaro ring. Lewis Hamilton's done it now, though. It's the Hungarian Grand Prix for the eighth time for Lewis Hamilton. Look at the state of that Mercedes car. Through the Vale chicane, look how difficult it was to stop. And a record seventh British Grand Prix victory for the most wins at home. It's Lewis Hamilton who takes the race. He has led every single lap of this race. It's another Spanish Grand Prix victory for Lewis Hamilton. for Chadwick. Chadwick Bosman, rest in peace. Hamilton picks up another win. It's the Belgian Grand Prix for Lewis Hamilton in 2020 to extend his championship lead. He's putting pressure on him as well around the outside of turn one. There goes Lewis Hamilton into the lead ahead of his teammate. He comes, crosses the line and wins the Tuscan Grand Prix. And, and Lewis Hamilton on the inside pushes his teammate wide. The two Mercedes scrapping away as they take through turn one. And it looks like Valtteri Bottas regaining that lead from Lewis Hamilton. To reduce the gap on Valtteri Bottas. And as I say that, Lewis Hamilton goes past Valtteri Bottas. Lewis Hamilton, who picked up his first win in Canada is coming around the final corner now for his latest win. It's win number 91. The record is equaled. Schumacher and Hamilton, the most successful drivers of all time in terms of race wins. Michael's son is going to present you with one of Michael's helmets. I, I remember playing Michael on uh, as a game called Grand Prix 2, I think it was. I don't think anyone, and, and especially me, didn't imagine that I'd be uh, anywhere near Michael in terms of records, so it's an incredible one. Yes, is Hamilton close enough down this main straight? Bottas moves over to the right-hand side. Hamilton pulls out, goes alongside, goes ahead and into the lead. The man that woke up this morning on the verge of an historic 90-second win in Formula One. Records are there to be broken, said Michael Schumacher. The record is broken. Lewis Hamilton wins the Portuguese Grand Prix. Hamilton has more wins than any other driver in Formula One history. You are rewriting the history books. Lewis, 92. 92. 
It's seven consecutive Constructors' Championships for Mercedes. They win here in Imola. Hamilton though, gets a really good start, passes two cars already. Here goes Hamilton on Sergio Perez. He's got DRS. Hamilton is going to make a move into turn 12. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the Turkish Grand Prix. What might he achieve in the future? Formula One world champion. He said, I'll rise above it. And rise above it, he most certainly has done. 2014 world champion. He has matched Ayrton Senna's career record. Michael Schumacher's record goes. The world championship record is equaled. Lewis Hamilton wins the Turkish Grand Prix and is a seven-time champion of the world. What a way to win your seventh world title. <laughs> That's for all the kids out there who dream the impossible. And he is not done yet.